Well, I'm happy to say that we are supporting all of these additional purchase models in iPhone 3.0. And we're doing it with what we call in-app purchase. Let me show you how it works. Let's say you have an e-magazine. In iPhone 3.0, right from within this application, you'll be able to purchase the renewal. So you get this standard panel, comes up and says, in this case, would you like to purchase six more months for $4.99? When you tap buy, you'll continue to receive all of the issues to this magazine right inside the app. Next, a game. You can now purchase a game that would come with, say, 10 levels. And when you're done playing those 10 levels, just by the tap of your finger, you could purchase the next 10 levels for the game. When you say you'd like to buy it, the game will automatically download those levels right into the game. One more example, city guides. Again, before iPhone 3.0, you would need to sell one application per guide. With iPhone 3.0, you can sell a generic city guide application and then sell city packs. So you can see here, I've already purchased, say, the Boston and the New York City pack. But let's say I want to purchase Chicago. That's as easy as tapping on Chicago. And it brings up this standard alert asking me if I'd like to purchase it. Now here's where it's really nice. This whole thing is tied directly into the iTunes store. So when you tap on buy, it brings up a standard iTunes credential panel. In a secure way, you now get your username, you type in your password, and when you do, it talks back to our iTunes store, validates the account, and when it approves the purchase, the application is free to download that city guide right into the app. And now, you're good to go. So, in-app purchase. The business model for in-app purchase is the same as for the app store, meaning the developer sets the price for in-app purchase items. Again, 70% of the revenue goes straight to the developer. There are no credit card fees. We will cover all the credit card fees. And developers are paid monthly. Now, to keep the model simple for the consumer, this is for paid apps only. So if a developer sells an application, and it makes sense in that application to have an in-app purchase, say for a subscription, you're absolutely happy to go ahead and do that. But to keep it simple, when a consumer sees a free application, free apps remain free. You won't be asked ever to buy something inside that free application. And that's what we're doing for in-app purchase.